Hello, my name is Dan W and welcome back to Dan Who Reviews. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. Today I wanted to do a very quick unboxing video because to be honest, I'm dying to open this guy up. So I wanna do my review, but before I do that, I thought I'd open it up and show you. So this is a first for me. So this is like an exclusive for me personally. Um, and I've cheated a little bit because I've already opened the box, um, but I was a little bit excited, I'm not gonna lie. So thanks to my friends at Kapow Toys, as always, I got another box here. Um, no table today because as I said, I'm doing this review really quick. Well, this unboxing really quick. And uh, yeah, let's uh, sort of show you. There you go, there he is. So this is uh, the Mezco 112 collection and it is uh, the Punisher. Now it's not the deluxe version or anything like that, it's the, just the normal version. Um, but even still, I've not had a Mezco figure before, I've seen tons of reviews online, see tons of photos on Instagram, and the Punisher did look epic, I'm not gonna lie. For me, I don't usually like six inch figures with clothes and stuff like that, it just doesn't look right, I don't think you can get it that well. The WWE figures do it sometimes with cloth clothing and it doesn't work, but whatever it is, these guys seem to be doing it right. So I don't think I'll be buying lots of these, um, this was sort of my step into the sort of world, but hopefully this guy lives up to the reputation. So there you go, there's Mezco 112, it is the Punisher, um, and there's the box as well with some pictures of a figure. To be honest, I really like the accessories as well with this guy, and because they're six inch accessories, uh, six inch scale accessories, they would work really well with my Marvel Legends. So uh, I was hoping it would give a bit of a bang to my display. But yeah, really liking the box, really liking the box. So it comes in a sleeve, um, so I've, def I've, I've not opened the figure yet, so I have no idea what it's like. But even the packaging is quite impressive. Um, it's not cheap, people. It's not cheap. Um, how do I open? Okay, okay. There's a magnet here. Okay, so. Magnet here. Let's open it up. There we go. And pow, there he is inside. Don't know how well you can see that uh, on the camera. Uh, comes with some decent art. And yeah, looks impressive just in the box. You can't really tell that well because it's covered in plastic in the box, but you've got the alternative heads, these weapons, the little blast effects, which I like as well. So yeah, stay tuned. I'm gonna do a review for this. And you know, my reviews are really just my opinion on the figures that I collect. But still, if you're interested in seeing that, stay tuned as I will be doing my first 112th collection, The Punisher, my first 112th collection figure in my own collection and it will probably sit amongst my Marvel Legends to be honest um, unless I get tempted by any of the other Mezco figures uh, but yeah I finally got one I wanted to buy one like earlier in the year but they were going for ridiculous prices and uh, luckily Kapow got some left over so I managed to get it at a, a standard price but they're still high market figures so um, yeah I had to bite my tongue to get this one but yeah Mezco 112 Punisher figure unboxing, well, review coming soon. And also, while I'm here, I thought I'd show you one more thing that I got. So again, it's not really an unboxing, more of a reveal, because these boxing video, unboxing videos, again, are just me sort of showing off my collection as I buy it. Um, so yeah, this was sort of not a holy grail for me, but something I wanted for a while. So I've started building up my X-Men's Marvel Legends shelf, uh, especially with these new waves coming out recently. And one of my favorite characters from the X-Men uh, animated series, uh, when I was a kid on Saturday mornings, I still remember Live and Kicking. Shout out 21 for the UK, who still remembers Live and Kicking. Um, but yeah, I really like the Beast. The Beast was my favorite character. I don't know why, she's a big, strong monster guy, like Jekyll and Hyde style. Blue, my favorite color blue. Um, and yeah, I didn't have a Beast figure and it was stressing me out a little bit. And I knew Toy Biz had one and I watched a couple of reviews online and everyone's saying that the Beast, Toy Biz Beast still stands up today. Uh, Cause I think it come out in like 2004, maybe earlier, maybe 2002 or three, don't quote me. But da -da, I managed to get one people in packaging as well. So this is an original Toy Biz figure still in its packaging. Now I'm desperate to open this as well, but Again, it looks—it just looks so good in the packaging, and 
oh, I don't know. So this is the type of package as well. Once it's open, it's open. You can, can't reseal it, um, which I suppose they should do in this day and age because all these figure swaps in the shops you find. But yeah, I finally got my favorite X-Men character, um, Hank McCoy, AKA the Beast. I have him in Marvel Legends form and he looks very good um, and he will definitely stand out on my X-Men shelf, uh, probably fighting my Sentinel. Um, I'm gonna build a whole, whole diorama about that. That will come soon on the channel, I promise you, diorama building. So yeah, without the light of reflecting on this guy, there he is, the beast, Hank McCoy, X-Men, my favorite X-Men character I now have. Brand new in packaging in Marvel Legends form. So knowing my look, Marvel Legends at, at uh, Comic-Con this year will re uh, reveal a brand new beast. But even still, I'm happy to have this one. So yeah, my unboxing video today is Toy Biz The Beast, and my very first 1/12th collection Mezco Punisher figure. So stay tuned to the channel as I will be re reviewing these. But until then, people, my name is Bin Dan W, and I'll see you on the next one.